Hi, my name is Rachel. We're going to talk about how to evaluate the hydraulic system on your tractor. Maybe if a tractor has been setting in an estate for a while and you go to use it, the hydraulics don't work. The three-point doesn't go up and down. And this is an easy technique that will save you a lot of grief uh, so that you can get the prime on your hydraulic pump. So the very first thing that you want to evaluate is just pull the dipstick out of your hydraulic reservoir and make sure that it does indeed have clean hydraulic oil in it. Uh, it doesn't have water in it or anything like that. If you discover that yours doesn't, go ahead and add some hydraulic oil in there because that will be essential to uh, your hydraulics working properly. So the next thing that you'll want to do is use a blow-off nozzle. Uh, this one that has a point on it is a good type to use inside uh, your hydraulic pump here. We're going to blow some pressure into the reservoir and this will make the hydraulic oil that's in the reservoir come up into the pump so that you can get a prime on your hydraulic pump. So I'll start the tractor up, I'll put it down to a low idle, I'll put the pressure in the pumps until the hydraulics work and then we'll talk about it then. So I'll start the tractor up here. When you are working on a tractor that does indeed have a hydraulic issue, you will definitely need to blow pressure in there longer. You might need to blow for up to a minute. Just keep testing that hydraulics until that works. And then when you are done, when your hydraulics work, make sure that you don't blow, um, um, pull that blow off nozzle out of there right away because you'll have pressure and the hydraulic oil will come and blow up on you, which you don't want it to happen. When you are putting pressure in there and the oil is moving from the reservoir to the pump, you might notice that it's leaking somewhere. It might leak somewhere within the lines. It might leak up here, which would show that you have a, a crack within your hydraulic pump. And that will help you diagnose where you need to work on the hydraulic system. However, 90% of the time, this trick, by putting that pressure into your reservoir, will indeed fix your hydraulic problems. This technique will work on any tractor that has an external hydraulic pump. The tractor that I'm uh, demonstrating on has a piston type pump. This will work on a vein pump as well, so it's definitely a technique that will work for many tractors and help you get those hydraulics working. 